everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm on a mission to hit a thousand subscribers so if you can click that button below I would appreciate it. So in today's episode I thought I would actually take you guys along with me every single day of my Colorado trip and just kind of go over my outfits and what I actually decided to wear. So I really hope you guys enjoy this little OOTD that I ended up um, putting together while on my Colorado vacation. Take a look. So this was my airport outfit. Um, ended up keeping it very comfortable. Ended up going with the Buff Bunny sweatshirt along with the pants. And then I just paired it with my white shoes I picked up from Dick's Sporting Good. So very, very comfortable set. Still highly recommend it. And yeah, it was perfect for the flight. All right, so first full day of Colorado, and this is my outfit I went with. Ended up going with a red top from Old Navy. Um, I actually have a white tank top underneath it to stay warm from Express, along with a pair of Express jeans. And then I picked up these boots from Outdoor World. The socks I actually picked up from Burlington Coat Factory. They're supposed to be like thermal socks, but they did not keep my feet thermal and warm at all, all day. So I was freezing. But I actually also have a pair of thermal pants on, and I picked these up from Amazon. So I will link it in the description. But yeah, this is outfit for a first full day and then I did of course have like a puffer a black long puffer jacket on on top of that which I'll probably be wearing the entire trip so you'll see that multiple times all right so this is outfit day two that I went with um, I went ahead and left on the tank top from Express to stay warm and then I paired it with that long sleeve denim shirt from Old Navy I picked up along with this scarf. This scarf was actually in my Forever 21 haul. I picked it up from Walmart. It almost doubles as a blanket since today we're actually going to be driving to Breckenridge so a lot of it just will be sitting in the car. Um, I went ahead and left on the same jeans from yesterday and then I also do still have on those thermals. Again these are from Amazon so I will link them in the description. These are from Express and then still the same shoes from yesterday, which are from Outdoor World. And this is actually the puffer jacket I was talking about in yesterday's outfit. I have a hoodie here, and it's really, really long, has pockets on both sides, and I think on this side, it has an interior pocket. And this jacket was well worth it. I actually picked it up on clearance at 32 degrees, and I think it was like $35, originally a $135 jacket. So, so glad I picked it up, keeping me nice and warm this trip. All right, so today is day three of our trip and today is actually snow day. So I went ahead and I put on my snow jacket that I'm actually borrowing from a friend along with her snow pants. And then I picked up these boots from DSW, or snow boots, along with just a regular long sleeve tee from Old Navy. And then underneath, of course, I have both my thermals and I have a beanie with me. So I'll be wearing that once I go outside. All right, so this is another outfit that I wore on my trip. Still rocking the 32 degree sweaters. Um, I went ahead and paired it with a pair of Express jeans along with shoes I picked up from Outdoor World. This is that shirt I picked up from American Eagle that was 20 bucks and then thermal underneath. All right, so today is day five of our Colorado trip and today we're actually going snowmobiling. So I put back on my snow jacket, which I'm borrowing from a friend along with her snow pants. Um, and then the long sleeve shirt I picked up from Dick's, which I believe is just simply Southern. And then I have my snow boots which I will be putting on. I picked these up from DSW along with my beanie, which I got from Amazon. 
And I also ended up picking up a face mask downstairs in the lobby. Um, it's classified as a neck warmer, also doubles as a face mask. And it's very thick, so it was perfect. And then the one thing I do highly recommend when cold weather is these hot hands. Um, I actually do have gloves on. I don't have them near me, so I'm looking for it. They're in my backpack, ready packed, ready. And uh, you put them inside your gloves to keep your hands warm. And then also you can put them inside your shoes to keep your feet warm. Because personally, those are probably the two things that have been getting the most cold, coldest personally on me. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying these outfit hauls. Um, we have two more days left of our vacation. And then sadly, we're going home. Actually, it's really not sad because I love warm weather. And I'm kind of done with the snow. <laughs> All right, so we actually just made it to Denver and this is outfit day six that I decided to go with. Um, I actually left my thermals off, which is probably the first time I've done that since the trip has started. Um, but I went ahead and paired it with this shirt I picked up from Walmart, which you guys would have seen in one of my hauls. Um, I have on a pair of skinny jeans from Express along with same shoes. Same shoes I picked up from Outdoor World. There they are. So, um, highly recommend wearing glasses the whole time I was here, just because the snow is so white and is very bright. But yeah, that's it, and we have one more day, and then we head home. So it's go home day, and we're gonna start or end where we finished. And we're just wearing the Buff Bunny um, hoodie along with joggers and just sneakers again, just to keep it comfortable while on the plane. And yes, uh, one of the Airbnbs did have a washer dryer, and I rewashed it and haven't worn it since. So I uh, hope you guys appreciate watching and I'll probably do an outro here in just a moment. All right, so I really hope that you guys liked some of the outfits that I ended up pairing together. Um, you will notice that I did a lot of repeats on some of the items. Um, shockingly, when you are in very cold climate, you almost don't even care what you actually look like. Um, the key is to just honestly try to stay warm and not freeze. Um, as I did mention, a lot of times my hands were getting really numb and my feet were getting really numb. And I ended up asking one of the locals when we went tubing, which hopefully you guys watched my Colorado uh, trip. I actually have two series going up. One just went up on Tuesday. And the next one will go up following Tuesday. And I basically just said, hey, like you're working outside, you live here, like what are your suggestions? So in case you guys ever decide to go there and you're not from there, um, basically they said key is to wear um, perfect thermal socks and then any type of boots but with like interior fur, which is probably where I went wrong on that side of things. I thought I bought thermal socks, but shockingly, they sucked, <laughs> um, but then the shoes definitely did not have any type of internal fur, which is what they said usually will help keep your feet very warm. Uh, one thing I did pick up from Amazon were these hot hands. I might have mentioned them. If not, um, these, highly recommend picking them up. They are a lifesaver. Uh, when we actually were tubing one day, I didn't even film it because it was just a disaster, but my sister ended up losing feeling in her hands and she kind of like freaked out a little bit and shockingly I had those in my backpack and I'm like, hey, here, here you go. And uh, they actually last up to eight hours, so it's perfect. And you basically just kind of shake them to activate the heat. And then she was able to kind of slip them into her gloves and they actually helped a lot. She definitely said it helped save her. <laughs> so um, I highly recommend picking those up if you, you know, are planning to travel there and you're not used to a cold climate such as myself. But, um, and then a, there's just a couple other items I also kind of wanted to mention. I kind of mentioned them, but I really didn't like show, show them. Um, the one actually being like my thermals. These are thermal pants that I ended up picking up from Amazon. I highly recommend them. Um, I'm normally a size large, but I did go down and I purchased these in a medium. So I probably would suggest if you're going to get them sizing down one, just so they stay very tight um, and formed to the body. And then personally me, um, I was wearing like skinny leg or skinny jeans. I would, I would have, 
I would have completely stayed away from them to be honest with you. I was having a very hard time putting on the thermals with the skinny jeans. It was a very poor decision on my end. But my sister did show me a trick which really worked, which is basically you put your thermals on and then you wear your high socks. So you just basically put your socks like all the way up and then when you're trying to put on your jeans, the jeans will slide right over and not actually like bring the thermals up with them. So I thought I would give that suggestion to you guys since it was really helpful. She probably told me on like, I don't know, like day three at that point. Um, but at that point, of course, I was already frustrated with just trying to get the pants on. So I would just highly recommend just probably staying away from those style of jeans. Another thing um, I want to mention as well, um, wear your hair up. Um, I did like a loose ponytail like this. I think on one of the days I ended up braiding my hair, which is when we did tubing. Um, keep your hair up, keep it out of your face. Don't just let it dangle, especially if you're gonna go outside and do outdoor activities. Like I said, I typically did that when we were doing tubing or we were going snowmobiling, just keeping it up and out of the face. And do not, because I did this one day, do not wear hoop earrings. Um, I, <laughs> it was like I went to do something and my finger got stuck in the hoop and like ripped it out. And I'm like, okay, note to self, no more earrings the rest of the trip. So um, I was, I didn't do any jewelry really. Um, I kept my hair kind of like tucked back just because I wasn't trying to get it all tangled or get it messed up everywhere. Um, so those are just things that I personally dealt with while on the trip. But then I also wanted to mention other things that I purchased, you know, either for the trip, which are these gloves. Um, I actually picked up these gloves from Amazon. I wore them every single day. And I think these are supposed to be like snowmobile or like skiing gloves, but I did not care. And I wore them every single day, no matter where we went. I had them in my backpack with me at all times. Um, so I do recommend picking up those or something similar to them. My husband had ones that were kind of more like a like a fabric and he said those were completely fine for him. But then on some of the days he ended up wearing ones very similar to this, which he was like, actually these keep me a lot more warm. And his, actually I have them right here. His are right here, um, which you can also find on Amazon and they have a little zipper. And this is actually where you put your hot hands, right inside here. So they're not directly on the skin. So I thought that was pretty cool. He personally didn't really use the hot hands. I guess he was just trying to be a badass. Um, but I did, I didn't care. I, I think one day we ended up getting back from snowmobiling and we like all took them out of our jackets, threw them on the table and we probably had like eight going. It was pretty funny. Um, so that's just another suggestion. Another thing I ended up picking up was this while in Colorado. I think I picked this up in Steamboat, uh, the hotel, the resort we were staying at. Um, they had like a little ski, like I said, we're staying at like a ski lodge. So they had a shop down at our hotel and this is like a neck warmer. And I asked the guy, I'm like, listen, I know nothing. So can I use this as a face mask as well? Because they're very strict in Colorado. And he's like, yes, absolutely. That's kind of what we use it for and it's extremely thick it's um it goes this way and it's also reversible as well to be honest with you guys i have no details about this because the guy ended up taking it out of the packaging and just handing it to me because i used it right away and i actually bought that when i went um, snowmobiling and it was amazing very thick highly recommend picking one of these up i'm sure you can find them anywhere and then another thing we ended up picking up were these goggles. Um, we had to pick these up for snowmobiling. Honestly, we purchased these at a local shop in Breckenridge. I guess they're called Scott's. And um, we basically told the guy in Breckenridge, we're like, listen, we're from Florida. We'll probably never wear these again. What are your cheapest options? And I think we picked them up for like 25 bucks and they were perfect. Um, they stayed on my face. They did not get fogged at all. Um, which is very important obviously when you're driving Especially with the face mask on and you're trying to breathe and everything. So I had no problems and no complications So those are definitely some of my tips that I would recommend Obviously, I would probably say Fashion is not a thing when you're there comfort and um, staying warm is definitely something Obviously, like I said, I did a lot of outfit repeats. So I didn't feel like I had to pack a whole lot um, I just did a lot more t-shirts, but kind of kept the same pants 
And then obviously two days I ended up wearing my snow gear since we were going outside. And I don't live there, so there's no sense of me having multiple options available for that. But that was just my personal experience and what I dealt with. Um, I'm hoping that this might be helpful if you guys ever decide to go and maybe you're not from cold climates. But if you are from cold climates and you have maybe better recommendations for me or maybe a subscriber or a follower, I would definitely like you to list this stuff down below in the description. Maybe ideal on shoes or thermal socks because like I said, those are definitely the two main items of what kept well, that in my hands kept freezing up on me. So I really hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, if you could, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys Tuesday with uh, part two of our uh, Colorado trip. So bye, guys. Mm -hmm.